My name is Dr. John Chan. I practice orthopedic surgery at St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, Florida. I perform approximately 150 to 200 joint replacements a year at St. Joseph's Hospital. I enjoy uh, performing total joint replacements because it really helps our older patients uh, become more functional and more mobile and so they can back, get back to their normal activities. Some of the changes in the last several years on orthopedics include um, a real focus on providing operations that will help the patients recover quicker and with less complications. Traditionally the hip replacements are performed in most cases through a posterior approach or what is called an anterior lateral approach where you have to go and cut through some muscles. Now we can do the hip replacements through an anterior approach where there's no cutting of the muscles and so there's less pain and people are able to get back to their normal activities much more quickly. The primary difference between the older techniques for total hip replacement and the direct anterior approach is that because we do not have to cut any of the muscles, patients generally will have less pain after surgery and will have a faster recovery. It does generally require that your surgeon obtain some extra training to learn the techniques because it is a little bit more difficult than the traditional approaches. St. Joseph's has also had a special table that's designed to help us during the surgery. It's called the HANA table. Although the surgery can be performed on a more traditional table, the HANA table does in many cases make the surgery easier and one of the unique features of St. Joseph's Hospital is that they do have one of these tables available where a lot of the regional hospitals do not. Most of the recovery for a total hip replacement occurs in the first three to four months. With our direct anterior approach, people are recovering even faster than that and many are very mobile after just three or four weeks. In general, there are many people that are candidates for the direct anterior hip approach. It is something that you have to talk to your surgeon about. Patients that are very heavy or are very muscular may require a surgeon with more experience than someone who has less experience because those are situations that are more difficult from a technical standpoint. In our area, there are only a few hospitals that provide this service and we're happy to provide it at St. Joseph's Hospital now. Our goal with the hip replacement operation is to try to get patients back to their normal activities. They generally can do any walking activities. They are able to stay active with swimming and um, cycling, dancing, occasionally with some lower impact activities such as tennis. I do have some patients that actually continue to ski and so it can really be a, a life changer for a lot of people. I think the continuity of care that we provide at St. Joseph's Hospital can ease some of the concerns and burdens that people carry with a hip replacement operation because the hip replacement operation is a big operation and everything that we can do to make that experience better is an advantage for everyone.